ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel it's good to have you back here we have the whole crew today mr blue back in action mr smoke and uh jade the whole crew's here today uh we're just kind of hanging out having a nice relaxing evening i'm gonna get blue uh started back into work we're just gonna kind of ease him back into some work and kind of get him legged up he's ready to go back from his little colic scare um, I do want to, I've got to respond to some comments on YouTube. I actually have a little, kind of a treat, I guess you could say, that I get, oh, from our local gas station just up the road. And these are these Oh Snap uh, pickles. They are fantastic. And these, uh, I guess they're called Sassy Bites, Sweet Pickle Bites with a little kick. These things are absolutely incredible. While I answer some questions, um, some comments on YouTube, I'm gonna eat these, then we'll get started saddling these ponies and uh, getting to, well, saddling a pony, blue, and then uh, we'll kick into today's video. I guess it was about a year or so ago I did a video on these splint boots and to this day these are still the coolest no pun intended the coolest splint boots that I've ever used and they're some of the hardiest splint boots that I've ever used on these horses so today I am going to do a little bit of an updated review on these uh, professional choice cool splint boots <music> I had to walk all the way back into the truck because I forgot my water and I couldn't carry the camera and both horses so I'm doing a lot of walking today but that gives me time to talk about this month's video sponsor and that is Ag Gear. Ag Gear has some of the best Western performance apparel on the market just like this t-shirt right here and here in Texas when it gets hot you need something that is going to keep you cool all of the time and that is what Ag Gear does. So once again Thank you to Ag Gear for sponsoring this month's YouTube videos. Now that I've talked about my fantastic channel sponsors, Ag Gear, let's get to riding some horses. I was debating whether to talk about these professional choice splint boots before or after I rode, but I think it's probably best that I talk about them after I've ridden blue. So let's get to that real quick and then we'll talk about splint boots. talk about splint boots in combination with bell boots these two items will protect your horse's legs at 99% of the time right from the knee down you've got protection thing about splint boots is a couple of factors really are are key to having good splint boots number one they've got to be priced right number two they've got to be durable um, and yeah that's about it as far as durability goes on these splint boots these are some of the most durable splint boots that I have ever seen. I've had these boots for about a little over a year, maybe a year and a half or so, and they're still almost as good as new. And one of the things that I really like is that you see this pad right here. This is like a, I think they call it like a Kevlar pad. And this is actually the bottom, uh, the bottom straps. So this strap goes down and up and, and kind of connects like that. But this is super, super thick. It's great padding, and that's one of the areas that if a horse is gonna kind of kick themselves from the back hoof to the front, um, that is kind of the area that they will hit a lot of times. And these have actually, these have, ow, 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 ow. 
sticker. Um, these have actually stayed relatively nice. Like there's a little bit of wear and tear right there. But overall, like in the stitching area, they are still in great condition. And most of the time on swim boots, if they're gonna go, if they're gonna fail, if they're gonna start kind of getting tattered, it's gonna be on these seams where they kind of sew the Velcro into the actual splint boot itself. And these are still good, all, the, all of them. There's not one of these uh, kind of areas where they've stitched it on that is starting to fail. And that is key for me because usually when I start to think about throwing these out is when those start to fail and they start to get kind of crummy that's when I have to throw them out. But these, over a year, and I haven't used any uh, splint boots except for these. So that's not like a year and a half of me using these every once in a while. No, these are every time I've gotten onto rope, I've used these splint boots right here. I said there was two parts to having great splint boots. The next part is price. For a four pack of these at NRS World, I think it's like $165, something like that, which is right online which is right online for normal splint boot uh, prices. You can also use the promo code Barrett to get 10% off your online order. So I would suggest doing that. I think you can get these in a four pack or a two pack. I always get a two pack. I don't usually use back boots. Um, I just never really have them. I and mean, I guess you could, but I just, I haven't really on blue. He hasn't really needed to, but those are great options, four pack or two pack. The next thing we need to talk about when it comes to splint boots is Splint boots need to keep your horse's legs cool, um, especially in the summer when you've got these splint boots on. Ow, there's another one. Typically, after I get done riding, I will immediately throw these splint boots off um, because most of the splint boots do not have this cooling feature, uh, but these do a great job of actively keeping them cool even when they're on, so you don't really have to rush to get them off. That will help uh, with any inflammation, will help with uh, injury prevention. I'm gonna go ahead and get him unsaddled real quick. Um, typically I will take the splint boots off when I unsaddle, but with these, I like to keep them on. So when I hose them down, it kind of gets some more of that cooling feature while they're already on it. It is really just that easy. These are the coolest split boots that I've ever seen. Um, I, I really truly think that they help with the horses. And uh, even if it's a marginal, oh yeah, it's nice and cool in there. Even if it's just a marginal amount of cooling, um, I think some is better than, than nothing. So if you wanna try those out, I will put a link in the description below for you to check them out. Um, yeah, this is another Team Ruffin Review.